Indo Technology is about 12 years old now. Uh, we focus on automation and monitoring. Uh, when we say automation and monitoring, specifically for textiles, and more focused on spinning. Of course, we have some byproducts in weaving and downstream processes. And these automations are all tailor made, customized for, let's say, Indian and Asian environment and to specific mills. So it's not like one size fit all uh, solution. So uh, we focus on customization and uh, right from our proposals, these are very specific. Uh, we don't offer just because a customer asks, we really understand his or their whole need, purpose, whether it really makes their business sense and we offer uh, solutions. So we are focused on automation, monitoring, very customized and tailor-made for each specific uh, individual customers. And these are uh, not, um, let's say, reverse engineered or that kind of a thing. These are conceptualized, uh, designed, development, developed and perfected for uh, you know uh, environments like India, Bangladesh, Indonesia, and uh, these kind of uh, you know markets. So uh, right now we do fully automatic uh, cone packing. When we say uh, packing, this is the final product of a spinning mill, as we all know, and it comes in different formats. One could do bag packing, which is some people call as sack packing or box or cotton box packing and palletizing. And we offer solutions for all three modes or combination of these. Uh, and we have uh, also innovated uh, automatic cone inspection with computer vision and artificial intelligence. Because when you say automation, it is not just simply automating the process to save some people. This is a complete uh, embodiment of the whole process that they are doing manually and even much more, more reliably, more accurately, more consistently. So combining automatic inspection and automatic packing in all the three formats uh, is already there in the market in the last two, three years. But we'll be making it more uh, wider, uh, more detailed in specifications. And in this exhibition, we are also integrating or launching cone transport system. So it's a complete uh, width of, uh, from auto corners until you load or warehouse, uh, it's transportation, inspection, packing in multiple formats, uh, and offering the reports, uh, integrating with their inventory or invoicing and things like that. So it's a complete solution of uh, packing and final delivery of the product. Uh, we have had uh, a product called uh, Bobbin Color Sorting System. Our brand name is Sortlink. We have had it for the last seven, eight years. But recently we, uh, we took it to another uh, uh, level of technology like cars are now moving from IC engines to EV. It's like that. So the technology is completely discrete uh, change. From sensor based, we move to uh, camera or so to say with computer vision and artificial intelligence. So in this, it is not just for the sake of technology, but really made sense to the customers because it occupied very, very less space. We don't need any extra uh, space because this is a retrofit solution. So uh, usually it's added uh, after the customer buys the auto corner. So usually there is no space planned or provided. And number two, customer has variety of bobbins of different colors, uh, transparent, double color, you know, so many things. Especially if customers are using dyed or melange on special purpose, there were limitations with the previous model, which is sensor based. With camera based, we have broken all limitations. In fact, we don't even have a questionnaire. Any customer asks any winder, any space, any color, we can just give it. It's a plug and play model. We launched it just after the COVID and now we have it close to almost 800, 900 machines. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a kind of a, uh, uh, giving a taste to the customer of our technological capability. And this also reflects in our cone inspection system. Uh, so this is a, a computer vision and AI is relatively new to textile. And uh, we have been lucky to have access to this technology and add to our product, which makes it more uh, complete uh, and offers a real solution to the customers. Let's say uh, 65, 35 would be our domestic and export markets. Our key markets would be Bangladesh, Indonesia, Vietnam, 
Mm. We are looking at new territories, but we want to be, uh, let's say, slow and steady rather than uh, plant our flags in more countries. So we want to be really sure that we have service support systems in each of these countries. And we are also building up our infrastructure in terms of uh, remote diagnostics and access, equipping each markets with uh, you know spare support and things like that. Uh, because we've had histories of uh, you know some of our uh, you know other uh, custom other uh, vendors from India or elsewhere. Now we uh, go a little too early uh, to these markets and make a fool of ourselves, and we we don't want to be there. So we are in the select few customers. We are happy being there, but we are looking at expanding also. We really don't look at uh, this business as a competition industry. We don't set ourselves goals in terms of turnover and things like that. We just compete with ourselves. Um, our strength, uh, so to say, is a very deep understanding of uh, our customers and customers' needs. In fact, uh, I mean, I don't want to sound a little bit uh, arrogant, but uh, we feel we know a little more about the customers' needs than they themselves. We we feel and realize the customers' latent needs. I mean, I myself have spent almost close to 40 years. So if you can, if you see, notice our name, it's technology, textile plus technology. So it's not uh, electronics or mechanical. We have a very deep understanding of customers' processes, their costs, their pain points. And we look at from these dimensions and uh, conceive a solution. In fact, uh, most of the solutions have been framed. Uh, most uh, many customers said these are not needed. Uh, they were a little ahead of its actual time. We introduced cone packing maybe six, seven years ago, and today customers are beginning to see. And uh, long ago, we introduced uh, to Indian industry automatic bale packing, which we are not focusing now. So, I, our strength is really anticipating the latent needs and addressing those pain points. Uh, uh, number two. We don't, like I said in the beginning, we don't cut and paste a solution that's available in the West. We customize the solution, uh, not just to be cost effective, but to really make sense. Uh, if you can give some examples, uh, the automatic cone packing in the West does not have automatic weighing, does not have automatic cone inspection. Because there, uh, these are uh, uh, too expensive uh, and they think the process is more consistent, so they don't need to weigh or don't need to inspect. But in our countries, uh, countries like such as ours, if you don't weigh and pack, if you don't inspect, then it doesn't make sense. So uh, more and more customers are still wary of automation because it's not customized. It is not addressing all the needs. Whereas Indo Technology offers a complete solution. In fact, there is no question not to go for our solutions. So this has been our strength. Uh, right from the inception of Indo Technology, we've been participating in it, like 2012, 2016. Now, with a gap of six years, now we're participating. Uh, this is good uh, because we have now full portfolio of products. Uh, so, like I said, we are launching uh, the bobbin color sorter with the new technology, Magic. Uh, cone packing in all the formats, cone transportation system, uh, cone inspection. Um, so we offer the complete uh, range of solutions and uh, of course for Indian customers and also our neighboring countries like Bangladesh, Indonesia, we do expect visitors. So we'll be showcasing all these technologies and uh, we already have a lot of reference. It's not that these are products launched um, and uh, you know introduced to the market later, but it's already working. So we also have reference customers to uh, you know back us. I've been truly blessed and lucky to have my uh, two sons also joining the company, which kind of reflects the confidence that uh, I have and as a family we have for the company and its future and the industry on the whole. Uh, textile traditionally has been or is being addressed as a sunset industry and you know, but we really see a lot of opportunities. Uh, let come what may global cycles, there'll be ups and downs, but we are really confident and we are deeply rooted and we have our all the feet as a family into the business. So we are very confident. 
with the success that we've had so far we are even more confident and in whatever products we do we'll be we would like to be let's say global number 1 or number 2 we are not yet another one indian vendor uh, you know into this and i have personally had a lot of experience in international market so we would really look forward to taking our entire range of products globally anybody making a new project anywhere in the world should look at indo technology as if not the only option at least one of the first few options uh, that would be my uh, real goal and uh, luckily as i said my uh, sons come in with uh, uh, new capabilities like uh, computer vision uh, artificial intelligence and you know these add more sense when we add to the uh, you know automation so india as a country we have capabilities and specifically addressing talking for myself we have capabilities and we have had experience and we have deep insight of the market so we would uh, like to be a global player in this uh, in this age of uh, you know products uh, number one number two uh, we are now more uh, trenched in to spinning but uh, we would also like to extend uh, the range into downstream processes so of course there will be varying need of automation and inspection and uh, we are quite there and uh, we'll be looking at this things more, more seriously we are also participating in it may it may milan so we have more and more you know products so we are looking at global plus uh, spinning weaving you know all the downstream processes and uh, we are already f- we have our plate f- full already so we have a number of things to do uh, that's all i would like to share and i would like to invite all the customers uh, viewers to our hall Uh, hall 9 J11 We are all excited and uh, looking forward to welcoming you to our booth at uh, it may new delhi hall 9 J11 indo technology looking forward to meeting you there thank you